This is Dice Kimura. I'm doing a gear review today of this Fisherman Loud Box. And I just want to say right off the bat, it's amazing. It's my go-to amp on stage. Matter of fact, if you look, I have two of them because I often play live with my son and he needs one too. So I'm just gonna um, demo this and give it give you my review, okay? So, um, so let's just get started. So I'm plugged in my Taylor 814 CE. And I'm just gonna put the volume up a little bit. I've got all these controls right at about noon, nothing crazy. Reverb and chorus at maybe like 10, 11 o'clock. Let's talk about the sound, okay? Now, I've, as you can hear, it's very clear, it's very rich, it's fully adjustable. You have a gain option, uh, bass as your lows, your mids, your highs, reverb, chorus, this is all for guitar. Um, it also has, in, you can knock it in and out of phase. And um, all of these controls are excellent. I mean, and I usually, I use them pretty, um, I put everything in the middle. I don't really go for extreme settings on my acoustic. And reverb, it depends. If the house is giving me reverb, then I'll turn it off. If not, I'll add it, and I might put a little chorus. Chorus just makes it richer. I'm not, wasn't used to putting chorus on my acoustic. If I turn it off... back on it has like a richness to it you can hear the tone kind of wavering some other aspects um, about the about uh, how I use this live and this is really important uh, well, first of all, let me tell you, there's a DI, and so you can go straight out the back, and the DI works independent of the speaker. So you can have the speaker on or off. This is the speaker here. Um, and the DI can go out to the house. So the DI goes to the house, and what I do is live, I'll put the amp right in front of me, facing me, okay? And I'll have that this master turned off, usually. And so this only controls the volume of the speaker to this amp. So the DI is pumping sound to the house, and if I ever need to hear more guitar, and I just reach down right in front of me, and I turn up the master. And right away, I have more guitar. It's a very easy way to solve mixed problems when it comes to the guitar. So it's very useful. I use this a lot in churches, actually, and it's uh, very useful and controlled. I've also used this in other contexts, and I want to talk about this if I can. Um, this is a great... <clears throat> This is a great solo uh, piece of equipment. So if I want to go play somewhere solo and I don't want to haul around a whole bunch of gear, like a mixer and uh, like my JBL 15 or something or my Mackie, if I don't want to bring all that, I can just bring this Fishman. And I'm going to plug this XLR. I'm going to put it right in the front where it says mic. Boom. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you. A little bit of microphone with guitar action here. If I can get it to not fall. Here we go. Alrighty. There we go. So here's a little volume. Two or two. It's way too much reverb. Okay, so we're putting the EQ at center. And I've got this on now I've got this vocal setup to check one two. And you're hearing the fishman loud box. Put some of that decay down on the reverb. You're just hearing it. This is straight out of the end. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel 
feel like my only friend is the city I live in. The city of angels, lonely as I am. that ring out. Really nice tone, I'm telling you. It's incredible. It packs an incredible punch. Um, let's talk about a couple other things. So this has a couple of cool features. Um, it has a Bluetooth feature which you can pair like my, I could pair my phone to it and then load up backing tracks in my phone and then just hit the play button where it just goes to the tracks and I could be playing on acoustic and singing over it. And again, you're a one man jam. Same concept, but in the back, it has a quarter inch um, auxiliary input and a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack auxiliary input. So again, those auxiliary inputs or the Bluetooth, it's just another way to get sound in. And it pumps it all out of the speaker, of course. And um, <clears throat> let me talk to you actually, so interesting things I've learned about it. Um, this, I have, I got two of them, as you can see. The one that's over here, if you look behind me a little bit, let me get up my legs out the way, you see it right here. That one, the speaker blew. I was letting my kids kind of, I was even plugged in the output here, a whole microphone PA into it. And I think my kids blew it. So I was in a, I was in a conundrum. I had to bl replace the blown speaker. I am a guitarist, so I blow speakers all the time. It's probably not a good thing, but it happens. Um, and I had some news. The speaker's unreplaceable. It was not replaceable. Um, <clears throat> basically, when I unscrewed all the, all the screws, I found that the main chassis, I couldn't separate it or take out the speaker apparatus. And um, after talking to a couple techs, I found one that had experience with this. And he said, this whole thing is glued, like super glued together. So it would be, it would totally deface the, the, the amp to separate the glue. And so one of these, this one has a blown speaker. So I don't use it. I use it still as a, an active DI, um, which I use all the time on stage. But if I need to have a speaker working, I'll have this one. Uh, so that's a little piece of info to know. Um, if, if, what do you do if you blow your speaker? Well, you still got your... A DI out so you can hook your DI out into a small powered speaker like a small Yamaha or a Bose or something or a small uh, JBL or a small Mackie like a 10 inch or an 8 inch if you can find one and then from there put your output into the house because those always have a daisy output but what I found is um, dazing too many things is not always a good thing so make sure you try it first before you bank on it and go to the show because I've done that and gotten a lot of weird feedback and connectivity issues from having too many units daisy chained together. So again, let's listen to this amp a little more. I mean, I've gigged with this amp for a long time. It's a great amp. I got mine used on reverb, actually. I paid 250 my take that's my review of this amp it's a great amp I use it almost every day and um, it's a totally pro piece of gear okay so leave your comments below thanks so much